Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at uh, uh, building a lithium, lithium ion battery pack uh, for using uh, uh, with uh, uh, quadcopters. Uh, it can of course be used in other models too, uh, but in this particular case I'm going to use it on a few of my uh, quadcopters. Uh, the interesting thing is is this really possible? Um, there are uh, a few videos on YouTube uh, that have uh, tried uh, this out and uh, some say it's good, some say it isn't. So I just uh, have done my own research and uh, today and I'm really <laughs> I'm, uh, convinced that this is uh, a good solution. Uh, so, uh, but it will be interesting to see. So in this video, in the next video, you will uh, uh, take a look at this together with me. So, uh, what are we really talking about? I just, uh, as an example, I took uh, my Multistar 5.2 4S um, battery here, which I am using today on a couple of my drones. Uh, this is a 10C battery, um, which makes it uh, capable of delivering 52 amps uh, over a short period of time. This is uh, for my use a really good battery. Uh, two of those on my biggest quadcopter it gives me more than half an hour of flight time. So really I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with this battery and this is uh, really the, the answer for what I have been looking for for a long time. Um, but the fact is that um, the uh, 18650 lithium ion battery are getting better and better. These batteries have, uh, uh, you can find them on eBay and Amazon and everywhere in a different, uh, in many different types. But the best ones, the ones that they can, that has the biggest capacity, are these ones from uh, Sanyo. They are um, uh, three and a half uh, amp. Um, and they can deliver up to 10 amps for a short period of time. So uh, this is uh, this is an extremely good battery. And the advantage with this one uh, compared to the, the LiPo battery is that you can charge it up to uh, 4.2, 4.3 uh, volts, and you can discharge this, discharge it uh, all the way down to two and a half volt. Uh, but just like with the LiPos, you you mustn't stretch it too long. So uh, to, uh, to to use it down to two and a half volt is not uh, a good thing to do. You have to stop a few a few uh, uh, a little bit before that. So I think what the test I'm going to do is to take it down to 2.7, 2.8 or something like that. So that will be quite interesting. <coughs> um, yeah. So that's one thing. These can it can be uh, you can use them longer than the lipos, uh, but of course they will lose some power in uh, on their way. So that will be interesting to see how that affects uh, flying the model. Uh, I don't think this is uh, something for a race drone. This is for the like the uh, the bigger drones with the bigger propellers and for the longer flights. Um, uh, they haven't they, they haven't got the high C rating that a racing drone need. So not that I have tested it yet, but uh, uh, certainly based on what I have learned, this is not for a, a racing drone. One other thing is weight. Uh, these uh, LiPo batteries are quite heavy. Uh, and the more C rating they have, the heavier they are. Uh, so uh, there will be a weight advantage between these two packs. Uh, I have eight cells here. Uh, they are three and a half uh, amp uh, nominal, which makes this a 4S7 amp battery pack. And let's weigh them so you can see the difference yourself. Oh, sorry. Um, so, of course, this is a smaller battery pack than this one. This is a 5.2, this will be a 7, a 7 amp. And uh, this one comes in at 435 grams. And if we weigh all these 8 cells, 
you will see that these are lighter than the uh, LiPo battery. They come in at 379. So there are quite a few uh, grams in, in uh, difference between these battery packs. So uh, you can say there are several uh, advantages here. The, they are both lighter, can uh, be uh, driven much longer down to 2.5 volts. And uh, right now, if um, if what I have read about them, uh, they can deliver 10 amps uh, each cell uh, for uh, the same period as this one can deliver a 10C rating. Well, then there should be no issue uh, in uh, driving the um, the quadcopters I'm going to use them uh, on. Actually, I'm going to build two packs, two porous packs. So 16 cells is what I'm going to use. Uh, that is because I want to see uh, uh, how we actually can, uh, uh, what we can, uh, uh, what we can make out of two packs with uh, in total 14 amps uh, capacity, especially on my biggest drone, which is the uh, Tarot uh, 650. Uh, in building this battery pack, uh, you need the batteries, of course. You need um, uh, balance wire. You need some silicon wires for the uh, for the main uh, main line, and you need the XT60 connector. You need some um, uh, some uh, some of this, which is uh, uh, shrinking tube, of course, uh, to have uh, around the pack. This is really nice. I bought them on Banggood, and you just make the pack, put it in this one, and you shrink it around, and, and you will see everything inside. And uh, uh, yeah, you can also buy these in different colors, of course. I like the transparent one, which I can then I have a total view of the pack and the solderings and everything. Uh, and I thought in this video I'm going to show you how everything is going to be wired. Um, actually, I have wondered a little bit about that myself. I'm not an electrician or anything, uh, far from. So to me, I need to have it in a uh, have it explained in a way that I can understand. And as you can see here. I have, uh, let's zoom in here, I have uh, drawn a sheet where I explain what I have found out. Of course, uh, these are the eight cells and uh, I, want to make, I want to make a long battery pack, which uh, make, have the eight cells in a row like this. And what I need to do is uh, connect two and two together, two and two to make them, uh, to make them into four pairs. And then the pairs uh, need to uh, be aligned uh, in opposite to each other, so that uh, uh, minus meets plus, uh, plus means meets minus down here, plus mean meets minus up here, and so on. So the two leads out for the for the uh, for the power distribution board it goes up here, and they are connected together uh, via the leads here, like this. And the balance port, uh, this one, is very uh, important to use. So you make sure that uh, every every cell is charged uh, correctly and not overcharged or undercharged. Uh, this um, this uh, connector is going to be like this, and uh, you have the red for the plus uh, out point of the battery pack, and the black one on the minus over here. And then you just solder um, one connector to the uh, to the bridge point here between these two pairs, and uh, the white one on uh, between these two pairs, and the blue one between these two pairs. This is uh, how the charger is going to do a good balanced charged charge. This is really important. And uh, if you didn't know that already, uh, these uh, lithium ion cells are charged with a LiPo charger just as a LiPo battery. Uh, but of course, you will have to go into the settings so it doesn't uh, uh, give you a message of uh, under voltage when you have used the batteries down to 2.5 volts. Uh, actually, I don't know how the chargers will react to that, but uh, I probably think that you have to do some settings work uh, to make that uh, hassle-free. 
Yes, uh, so uh, then we just uh, start and I will show you how it's, uh, how it's done. As you can see here, I have mounted the batteries on a kind of a jig. Uh, I used this ruler and taped, this, taped the batteries onto it so it, they stay together. That will make it easier to solder them together uh, uh, the way it, it's supposed to be. Uh, as you can see, I also used my Dremel to make some, uh, uh, so I filed off some of the metal here, scratched it, so it just, uh, so I will have the solder to mount easier to the batteries. One thing I, I have learned is that um, you cannot, uh, you have to be very careful uh, about how you solder these uh, batteries or batteries in general, because if you heat them up too much, you will destroy uh, the batteries. Uh, the heat they they don't take the heat uh, over a longer period of time so good so it has to be a clean good uh, fast uh, soldering job and uh, with this kind of uh, uh, preparation here they will it will uh, they will uh, fasten it, uh, a little bit uh, faster to 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 the batteries so uh, I think this is a good thing to do. And uh, right now I've started to cut the uh, wires that are going to be soldered on. And I think it's very, uh, it's a good idea to really plan out your wiring because uh, what you want in the end is uh, is a clean, <laughs> it's a clean battery pack with the plus and minus uh, out uh, in the back here, uh, which are the same length and uh, and enough length for the uh, for the connection and and also the. Um, balancing wire you have to solder them around here but you also want it to come out to clean in the same length so just be careful to think everything through before before you start so of course uh, as an example you uh, I have put the um, the post wire here which is going to be quite short but the minus that's going to be um, uh, in the back here has to be a lot longer of course so that's just an um, important thing to, to think about. Okay, here you can see the finished um, soldering job. Um, I added some uh, extra protection on top here. And um, you can see plus and minus. And the um, balance wire is all soldered up here. Uh, according to my, uh, my drawing. So... Um, yeah, it's quite uh, easy actually to do when you know what to do. What we are going to do now is to measure how, how if everything is in order. And to do that, we need a um, we need a voltmeter like this one. And um, these are. Uh, these cells are not charged, they are uh, like, uh, I think they are like three and a half volt. So um, if everything is correct, we should have 14 volts. So let's see what we can uh, see here. I haven't soldered the XT60 connector yet, but um, that will be the next one. So this will be like a little bit hassle to yeah, 14 out too. Couldn't be better than that. The next thing to do is to measure the balance uh, wire. And um, uh, if everything is correct, I will have plus here, which goes to the um, plus point here. And uh, the uh, wire that's farthest away is the minus down there so together here we will have 14 volts as you can see and as I move down uh, on the connector here I will have one cell uh, less 10 volt 7 volt and this one should be three and a half yeah really good so we know that everything is uh, is connected uh, all right. I took off the insulation to show you the soldering joints. I'm not uh, the best solderer in the world, to put it like that, but uh, I know how to make uh, 
OK connections. So it's all about uh, knowing what which kind of heat you need and uh, the right amount of solder and time, and you will have a good connection. And uh, and one really quality point is that it's uh, a shiny soldering joint. If it's like a matte color or a matte uh, doesn't shine, you probably haven't heated it up enough or hard enough solder. So you can see pretty good uh, stuff. Uh, so uh, now we're gonna wrap it up in uh, in uh, heat shrink tube to make it a good uh, nice package, and of course the XT60 connector. So here's the finished pack, all the crimped up and uh, finished. Mounted the XT60 connector here. Uh, made sure the. Uh, Balance connector is uh, firmly connected to this one, so it doesn't get into any propellers or anything. Left the uh, uh, isolation tape in the middle here, so it kept together when I create when I uh, put the heat shrink tube on. And as you can see, it was a tight fit inside here, so I had to remove everything on top and make it uh, and then really push uh, the. Uh, uh, hitching tube uh, onto this one, but uh, all in all, it became a nice pack. So, uh, just for for checking the weight, let's weigh this pack. Came in on in on four hundred and twenty three grams. So, actually, not so much lighter than the five point two amp uh, multi star pack. So it's all down to now uh, the capability of uh, uh, delivering uh, uh, the current. Uh, so that will be nice to, to see. So please subscribe and uh, watch my other videos. Uh, in the future I will uh, put new videos on my channel that shows uh, how this works. Thanks for watching.